I'm uh, Robert Jenkinson from AW Jenkinson Forest Products and I'm the Operations and Production Manager. We're on our main site at Clifton in Cumbria. The foundation of AW Jenkinson is supplying uh, virgin materials such as sawdust, bark and wood chips to the traditional markets such as bedding for agriculture, um, the horticultural market with the bark and the panel board industry with the wood chips and sawdust as well. We, we've got 300 AW Jenkinson trucks and we run uh, in excess of 550 altogether with the subcontractors. We've got 28 sites right over the UK also. We've got our Comtech Top Turn X53 row turner. The job of the Top Turner is to turn our windrows, to compost them down over an eight week period. So week one they're going fresh and after eight weeks of turning the, it breaks the material down and composts it. Uh, my name's David Lamb and my job title is I'm the machine operator. This is a Comtech uh, X53 row turner. It goes through the rows of uh, bark fines there, turning them, getting moisture into them. It's a lot better. The benefits are the comfort and the, the uh, visibility with it. Um, and it, does a, it does a far better job as well. This machine, you can sort of do a row in, in less than 10 minutes, whereas the other one's up, up to 40 minutes a row. It's uh, a lot quicker. And our new machine, um, it, it'll do 5,000 cubic metres of an hour of our products. Um, it takes about an hour and a half to do the job, which to do the job of turning the windrows, which the old machine took eight hours. This takes an hour and a half, so it's a big saving there. It makes a better job, it breaks the material down more and composts it pretty quick. My name is Julian Lamb from Finning. Uh, my job title is a strategic account manager. We had a phone call back in I think it was February time this year when they had the existing problem with their own the problem with their existing machine and uh, I came and met Robert we had a few meetings and discussed the different options the different sizes um, we were very lucky that we've got several other machines like this in the UK and Robert could already talk to some of the he knew very well one of our existing users of a, such a machine I think he gave it some good appraisals and uh, they talked a lot about how it worked this particular unit was almost three parts built in the factory in Austria without a home to go to so we could basically get on an aeroplane we went out to see the machine in the factory we had a tour around the plant we could talk about some of the options that they we could add on to the machine that weren't already on it in the it, being three quarters built we, could, we still had the flexibility to do that this original machine was on wheels we wanted it on tracks because of the ground that we're on it's more stable so we were able to change it from the wheeled version to the tracked version and uh, I think we delivered the machine on April the 22nd this year. There is a modem linked back to the factory and uh, that modem link, if there is an ongoing issue or a repeating, a reoccurring failing, then they can download the fault codes and the characteristics which might be causing that so the technical guys back in the factory in Austria where the machine's built can try and diagnose and get to the failing reason for that failing from over there. Now that we're part of Finning, I think Robert took a fair bit of peace of mind and a, and a lot of his decision was based on the fact that engineers could be a lot more closer. As that goes on, that was one of the features in Robert's mind that, you know, if there was any ongoing issues, if they need a service, they wouldn't have to rely on somebody coming quite so far. They had some more local support from the local dealer, which with Finnings with 24 branches compared to Comtech with one in the south of England is, is obviously a lot of a benefit for Robert and a peace of mind for him.